Welcome to tonight's stream. I'm Vladimir Ledoux, and this is the final hours of Oxen Free. Hope you all had a. Okay. Sorry about that. I had. Didn't realize that my computer was going to start playing that back at me. I don't know why it is. Okay, but, um, yeah, so this is the final hours of Oxenfree. We've played through probably about the first half of the game. Should be able to, I'm hoping, finish it tonight. If not, it'll be finished within the first hour of tomorrow night's stream. Um, let's see, I'm trying to remember where we left off. So last time we came through, we have gathered everybody back at the main central radio tower... And I believe I was needing to head back to that tower. Um, so, yeah. Give me a couple seconds. I'm going to shoot out a Discord thing and get everything kind of set up on my end. And we'll dive right in. We're still a little early, so uh, just kind of sit right back and we'll get started shortly. I'm going to go grab a drink and all that jazz. And yeah. All right. Well, I'm back. I am ready. Drink in hand. Let's get started. Continue. Let's just get back to Ren at the comm tower. Maybe he's had better luck than us at anything. Yeah, maybe. All right, so we need to go back to the comm tower. We should be able to get there through the mill to going south, right? I wonder what this Fort is. Milner was the home of the U.S. Army Radio Communication School, which saw more than 100,000 students take its curriculum. 
During the years it was open, the school trained troops from the various armed services in applied oral communication, radio and TV broadcasting, telecommunications, and what was then state-of-the-art techniques in code breaking using an early form of computer technology. The school was moved to Fort Baxter in Southern California when the post closed in 1974, and it still resides there to this day. Fort Milner was the... All right. Can I just go Epiphany Field? Let's let's go that way. Okay, I think it'll connect us. I hope. <laughs> it seems like that's all I had to do. I hope I don't have to go back up and across. Thank you so much for the auto host Maven of Misfortune in Meow Mix Mix. I do appreciate it, guys. Mayday! May! Oh, crap. This is it. Ren, this is just coming out of the speakers on the roof thing. It's not. Oh, <laughs> my God. Huh. Well, now we know where the little mouth is. How can are. anyone stand That's to listen to me all day? Going. Yeah. All right, let's go see what's up with them up there. from the tower the dick tower i think you mean harden tower please don't ruin that for me it's all i have left how are you um still holding all your parts together emotionally um kinda some things are slipping the rotors a little but you know whatever any luck contacting somebody nope no luck to speak of and honestly i thought this week was gonna be a big karma dump well we're all here now well, I mean, except Clarissa, but we're mostly all here, and we'll come up with something. I hope so. The stupid radio's been what my therapist would call a negative reinforcer. Just won't work right. Just, I'm so glad I took that second brownie. What? It's kind of, you know, it's just about to start doing Wait, second brownie? Run, please tell me this is a joke, okay? This is a joke, right? <laughs> mm, why would this be a joke? Special I'm not brownies. Wait, you're not messing with us? You seriously took another one? It was like it was like half of one, all right? It's just to level me out. It'll I know, man. He had a up. second That's one. What it does. If you're down. You better pray to whatever god scares you the most. It does <laughs> Welcome back, Funkasaurus Rex. I literally just started, so. Probation. Don't say that. That's not That's not nice. Oh, god. Yes, you did. You shut up right as he was confessing to taking a second brownie. <laughs> Shit got real apparently. <laughs> this thing doesn't work. Not getting anything? I'm getting something, but it's like, I don't know. Hey, Nona. Night's still going, huh? We heard you on the uh, speaker system. You got that working? <sighs> That's about all I got working. Uh, oh, how was your sorry, Christmas, dude? Was, like, weird earlier. But, hey, have you figured out what's going on yet? You have to know something. Uh, been, like, might as well just say, it's been ghosts. ghosts. Not ghosts are going on. The blackouts, the hallucinations, it's all been ghosts. Ghosts? Really? Yeah, and it would really help if you could just jump to the believing us part. Good to hear, headache. man. Oh, oh, I got it. This is great. This is perfect. I know exactly what to do. Do you? Yeah, totally. It's Maggie Adler. Maggie Adler? Yeah, she has a boat. Had a boat. I mean, the boat's still here, uh... but she's not. Friend, what? <sighs> You could have mentioned this at any point. I mean, we walked right past it. I know. It. I'm sorry. But I've been, like, stewing in my own panic here for the last couple hours at the park's office in town for mail every day. I know they have the key. Okay. We are not going to go with the plan. The first plan put forth by the group's resident, Burn. Come on. I'm not a burnout. Okay, so I ate, like, two... Well, I mean... Jonas kind of does have a point here. 
Like, do you know there's a boat, or is this like when you Oof, knew the teacher kept liquor rough. in the lounge? <laughs> Come on. I kind of did like at mine too. I thought they all got drunk at lunch. I was this able to steer it the other there's way. A boat at her dock. Ren, understand it is completely your fault that we're in this to begin with. What? And now you want us to trust you when things are really bad? You had Alex bring the radio. Come on, dude. It's no here. one's fault. Come on, Jonas. This is nobody's fault. Ghosts are never anybody's fault. Certainly not ours. Yeah, guys. This isn't really a productive. It should be obvious to even the cheap seats <laughs> it was that you're the only new weirdo who throws this whole social harmony thing we got going on out of whack. I mean, we all grew up with each other. Alex knows she can trust okay, me. Okay, Ren, just take a Dude, step back. All quit right? attacking Jonas each other. A Chill weirdo. the F out. He's a, he's a good guy. What? Your good guy is like deploying a missile barrage of insanity on me right now. I know you Dude. said Ren is like harmless or whatever, but I'm over. Uh. Oh, shut up, everybody. Look, here's something <laughs> cool. A phone. Let's stop making Alex uncomfortable and talk about this instead. I know you said Ren is like harmless or whatever, but I'm over giving him passes. And you should be too. I don't need a pass from you. Alex is my best friend. Guys, yeah. stop it. Stop. The collective yeah, neuroses geez, call shit. a truce, okay? Yes, please. Look, I don't care what Caveman Jonas says. <laughs> there what is, is a boat at Maggie Adler's house. And the key to her house is back on Main Street. Oh boy. And the backup plan for when this thing <laughs> fails spectacularly is two of us have to stay here by the semi functioning walkie talkie. That's interesting. Fine by me. Alex has the radio. Are you okay to go into town? Not that you. Not, not that you wouldn't be okay. Honestly, anything to get me off this tower and away from this specific configuration of yelling people would do wonders for me right now. She shouldn't. You shouldn't go alone. We don't need like three of us up here. Yeah, I'll totally go. It's my, like, brilliant idea or whatever. Are you kidding? Your food is going to start kicking in any second. Oh, my God. Beyond that, you're a completely unreliable basket case. Ladies, I'm ladies, not a basket ladies. Case. Just shut up, both of you. Sorry. Okay, keeping in mind who you've been able to depend on the whole night. Yes, keeping in mind who you're tired of. Keeping in mind who's taller. Who do you want coming with you? Yeah, your oldest pal. Oh, my God. Or your new psycho stepbrother. All right, she doesn't <sighs> want to hurt anyone's feelings. It's fine. Let's just go. What? Thank you. First, you ditched me back in town to talk to this guy about God knows what, and now that stuff's gone crazy, yep, you're I'm still just picking him over me? I don't want to hear you. Him. Him? Ren, he's been like my sidekick the entire night. He's been. Took the bag of candy I had for him and split it among everyone there. You were my <laughs> sidekick. Yeah, and I thought we were more like a team, really. Like doubles tennis or something. Just. 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 Fine, whatever. Have fun, you two. This isn't fun. That's the point. Oh, God. Will you just shut up? Okay. Before things get stupid again, good luck with the whole key thing. We'll be waiting, guys. Good lord. Okay, so I gotta go all the way back to the main entrance. Wow. That is a ways away. <laughs> That's one good way of making a point right there. I'm like, alright, well, if you believe in that, here. <laughs> Let me take what you have and give it to everybody. And <laughs> you don't get a say. <laughs> I like your style there. <laughs> Dude, I know. That's why I was just like, F this. I'm walking away. I don't even want to hear it anymore. Whoever's following me, just start walking with me. I'm done. <laughs> I mean, it's total, like, this game has done a really good job of making the arguments and, like, just the, the interactions with one another seem so very realistic. Like, I could totally, it flows well, it's totally seemed like an argument that really could happen. And just my reaction to that entirely been the exact same thing of just, just fuck this, I'm leaving, one of you follow me, I don't give a shit. <laughs> and he wasn't okay with it. <laughs> okay, look. I'm gonna say I'm sorry now for what happened up there, but I do not want you to take it as an admission of guilt. That distinction is important, because I don't think anything that I said was that off base. Hey, I was just the girl on the sidewalk watching the car crash happen in slow motion. Just apologize to Ren. Just say you're sorry. <sighs> Fine. 
For you, I will apologize to Ren when I see him. Thank you. Look, uh, and I just want to clear the air too, just so Ren or whoever can't use it as ammo against me. But you might have heard that I uh, went to jail at some point. I never went to jail, but I did beat up a guy and get sent to juvenile detention for it. And I just wanted you to know so it wasn't like a thing hanging over your head or anything. And this is the truth. You beat up a guy. Just, my mom got sick and then she got real sick and then this kid, Timmy Finster, threw a baseball at my head and yes, he was joking, but I don't know, I just popped. Yeah, yeah I do that too. as it sounds. You lost control, Jonas. It happens. We... I don't know sometimes. if that's loss of control. My mom found out, of course, and <laughs> Did I you throw really the baseball at your head? Way that, I don't know. Things never really work out the way you want, you know? But, whatever. Are you... Are you okay? It's not like I'm sick or whatever. I'm fine. I'm not gonna say I'm a good guy, Alex. But I'm trying to be. And that's really about all I can say. You, yeah, you seem a like guy, a good Jones. guy. I'm a scary judge of people. I'm like a bee. I can sense stuff. <laughs> but I'm serious now. You're a good guy. I'm standing okay? here for the conversation, but also because there's the, the rocks right there. You are. And I mean it. I know okay, I can tune right. into that I'm one shit. Guy. Let's just move on. Thank you. Alright. Other end of the spectrum. Here we go. The island is famously named after Colonel Caleb Edwards for his glorious and triumphant slaughtering of countless families during one of the great ethnic cleansings of the 20th century. The forceful removal of an ignorant people to make space for destined holders is a time-honored tradition in our still young country. And you will be a part of that heritage, Alex. Do not resist. It will be over soon. Well, wait a minute. Listen to the end of that again. The island is famously named after Colonel Caleb Edwards for his glorious and triumphant slaughtering of countless families during one of the great ethnic cleansings of the 20th century. The forceful removal of an ignorant people to make space for destined holders is a time-honored tradition in our still young country. And you will be a part of that heritage, Alex. Do not resist. It will be over soon. What the fuck? Now these things are talking to me like that? Okay. <laughs> That's weird. The version of what would today be considered a blast and fallout shelter was commissioned and built in 1946. The above ground hub leads to a bunker 60 feet beneath the Earth's surface, molded with layers of poured concrete and packed earth. The lead blast door will only unlock through use of the call and response system, a setup devised by Lieutenant Commander Matthew Feinberg to prevent tampering. If the Catbird Station, a small watch point in Edwards Forest, radios in a decoded attack, the shelter door will automatically open, triggering an alarm and compulsory <laughs> evacuation. <laughs> Can I go in? Negative. All right. Yeah. You know, for those weak volcanic eruptions. That's that's what it's for. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going the right direction. How do I look up my map? Oh yeah, I can get there. That's to the Alder Estate, which we can't go to yet. They run kind of funny. Look at their hands. They're very high up. <laughs> no, remember she just disappeared. We have no idea where she went. Remember she like killed herself. And then when we went down to go see the body, she was just gone. Um, no idea where she is yet. You came in, I'd literally just started playing, so, uh, we're picking up right where we left off last, last time. Is 
and we haven't heard from her yet either. She hasn't made any kind of contact or anything. So I have no idea where she is and what's going on with her. This data command annex, as it had been dubbed, was used during the base's early years as the communication nerve center for outside military installations. It was also the primary office of Marianne Bozek, a civilian who developed communications protection through the invention of the famed wall system. A type of radio frequency identification, wall, <laughs> standing for wave-assisted lock, assigned each person who was stationed at Fort Milner a call sign through which they could use their portable two-wave radios to unlock prescribed doors and gates. Though the mechanics are considered outmoded today, the island still uses this security method to honor its rich history. Well, I appreciate you coming on by, Funkasaurus. It's always, it's always nice having you in stream, man. I do appreciate it a lot. <clears throat> but now you got to see this creepy game to the end with me, because this game ended up being something I totally was not expecting. <laughs> Um, so I need to go to Main Street. I don't need to go to Beacon Beach, which I think is where that other way goes, so I'm just going to keep going left. I'm hoping to finish this tonight. And then, uh, if I do finish this tonight, I will be playing the final station tomorrow. Which looks to be a pretty cool kind of survival game with a little bit of a story. Um, where you're pretty much going from train to train. There is like this weird plague going around in it. Um, looks pretty cool. It's got some pretty decent reviews. Oh yes, open world survival is awesome. Um, but yeah, the final station this looks is, really cool. I, wanna, I love the art style. This is whatever, but are you like religious at all? I mean, my dad said your mom wasn't, but... No, not at all. My not at all. My parents weren't, and I'm not either. Okay, but still, even after tonight, this hasn't shaken anything loose, or... No. I, I mean, we say they're ghosts. Unexplained phenomena. But when a bird looks in the mirror, she doesn't see her reflection. She sees, like, a bird assassin. And there's a strong possibility we're just as stupid right now. Huh. All right. I have well, not played Battlefield 1. I do want it, though. I didn't care, but... I Tonight's just picked up kinda, a I guess I'm just Titanfall 2, which is off on me more awesome. Than I thought, but I don't know. I was just wondering if you. <sighs> What's rubbed off on oh, you? What about it rubbed off on you? Uh, faith discerns the things of God. I heard that a lot as a kid, and it's been on my mind tonight. Is that? Oh my God, is that Clarissa? She's. Well, well I was going to say okay, but I'm not too sure about that. She's alive. You, you're alive. Man, I've never been so happy to see you in my life. Oh my god, she's oh, up on the she's, light. She has the... She's doing the thing. The eye thing. Christ, this is not... I am not getting used to this, I'll be honest. Clarissa, wake up. Fight them off. Take control of yourself. Um, hang in there, baby. <sighs> I don't remember how to deal with this. Maybe the ghosts or whatever want to help us somehow? Oh, that's right. Point of trying to... Try if you get it when I go back to my buddy's house, something. definitely. Something else? Clarissa, how are you, uh, doing, hun? Jesus. What, 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 what's going on? You think you can control me? Clarissa? I'm trying to help you. I'm trying to help you. This is, this will... Help me. Help me. How will that help me? I was looking forward to seeing you. Yes, I used to dream about something like this. Help the others. It... Ren and Nona, they've gone through the same... Gone through what? Their children have gone through nothing. When you're off, the little machine has no more heart than a brain. No more heart. What was that about? What was all that about? I don't know. Clarissa, are you all right? <sighs> Steady, just... just take it easy. I'm fine. I can... I'm fine. Okay, just take it slow. You've just been through something. Does she remember it? Do you remember anything that happened? I remember waiting in Fort Milner and seeing you. That's it? How did I get here? We, I think we were hoping you could tell us that. 
Um, I don't even know if it matters. You're here now. I'm not gonna spook her and tell her that she was dead. I have no idea. And sorry to say, but this is no different. You really don't remember anything? No, I remember something. I remember you with that radio. And I remember feeling like you were the reason all of this was happening. Wait, it's Clarissa's turn already? Yeah, it's what? my turn. What Whoa. do you mean, it's Clarissa's turn already? I What's going on? I have one question. Everyone's asking me. I get to do the asking now. Are you... are you controlling this? It's, uh, my turn, if that's what you mean. And you, of all people, should know what my question is gonna be, because I'm not gonna waste it. Alex, what did you do? Explain why me and my best friend, and your idiot best friend, and your new... <sighs> Look, when we went into the cave, we found a thing, and I used the radio to somehow tune it in, and I think it jump-started everything. What is see. going on? But I mean, come on, like, who knew this would happen? We thought it was a weird trick of light or something. Jonas, now you're seeing who you're stuck to until graduation. Clarissa, seriously, I can vouch for this. This isn't her fault. It has to be her fault. Of course it's her fault. There's no other way this story goes. She creates chaos. She's- It was both of us. Jonas was there too. It's not like I decided to end the world tonight or something. Oh my God. You see this? No, come on, Clarissa. Let's not do this right You're now. You're gonna learn, Jonas. I swear to God. The town looks at her like she has a red letter tattooed on her freaking Clarissa. forehead. And the giant lit up Christmas tree I don't know how to talk this woman is down. Michael is dead because of her. Because of her. Like, do you- It would take a very sick person to see it that way. And I would love to hear the explanation. Michael was gonna leave town. He was free. He was out of here until this one convinced him to take her swimming for one last- Did she's got a massive one. chip on her shoulder. And he drowned. He drowned in Horn Lake while this one could barely flap her arms. Clarissa. Uh, it doesn't make it my fault. Anyone could have been there. Anyone. And then they <laughs> would have had to watch him die, you unbelievable prick. Anyone wouldn't have watched him die, Alex. Anyone else would have done something. Okay, enough. Seriously. This is... Clarissa, this is so... I, I can't even believe we're talking about this right now. She's... Jonas, it, it was awful, all right? It's still awful, and I... I know, I know it's okay, I know. But right now we're gonna break into that office and we're gonna find the key. And we're going to go home. No. No, what do you mean no? All the elves in free. So let's... Um... Wait, what? Wasn't Clarissa with us like two seconds ago? That's crazy, she was... It was like she was just here. Oh, damn it. Yeah, she was just here. Wait, I'm getting... It's deja vu again. Are we... Did we get glitched again? <sighs> You know, I don't think I don't, we did. I don't understand how what we wasn't did necessarily in a loop. is making making any of this happen. Like, what are the triangles? What are the gates? What are the why are there ghosts? Why maybe tuning in just knocked everything off center a bit? But I mean, I might as well be talking about flying carpets because just who knows with this stuff. Okay, well I'm not gonna. Yep, this isn't budging. Well, the lock looks uh, less than modern. That's just brute force of both of us. It might splinter, but we should get in. Fun and I don't profitable. Get enough breaking down doors in Why my not? Life, really, so I'm not gonna complain. See, yeah, it definitely seemed like there was a huge bonfire there. But the thing is, right. is let's see if Ren's plan like, was I don't think we or not. did a time loop thing uh, because that never happened in the beginning of the game. Like, he never made a fire right there in the middle of the street. So I don't know what hey, is going on. You know what kind of jet that is? Not a chance. Uh, cool. Cool. Carry on. <laughs> uh, I think here's something. It's another pocket radio, I think. But it, it's like there's way more stations on the dial. It says that. Here's another one. It says there. Wow, wall there's a lot. Wall stands for wave assisted lock. Ah, they use um, that frequency thing, where each frequency is like a key to open the doors around here. It says that you use them like identification tags. Uh, okay, cool, great. Oh, wait, look at this. Personal effects of Margaret Dorothy Adler. Oh, I remember we ran into a place where I needed this. Why would her stuff be here? Didn't her family, or, like, hasn't her family been carting her things back to town? We can head back. I'm just gonna... Here, this is... Steal a boat and leave. 
Who should concern? This is a letter from her? This island and its history is a lie. Wow. Well, this is going somewhere. What? What could that what mean? What could that mean? I've been compelled by both forces outside my control and my own willful concern for the safety of others to conceal the many truths about Edwards Island. But now I feel any further inaction may carry any truths. Shh. Inside, you'll find. Oh my God! The the Camaloa was destroyed by friendly fire. The USS Walter Even Roy, a destroyer time. escort, sunk the USS Canola with friendly fire on October twenty fifth of nineteen forty three. It had held a developmental nuclear reactor in its belly, and it had been set out weeks earlier as a test of its capabilities. Relatively few even knew of its existence, which tripled the base's confusion when the submarine's communications had been cut. No one outside of a handful of us would ever know the truth. I would discover later that a weapons technician of the Walter Roy had been at Francis Salter's wedding. Salter was an engineer on the canola. I don't know why, but it's strange to me. Two wall-equipped radios. I have commandeered the old Cardinal Station 140.1 and used it to relay clues to nearby beacons buried throughout the area. Find these beacons in the notes within, and discover the true chronicle of the island. Oh, scavenger hunt! Oh, scavenger hunt! Scavenger hunt! Wait! Do whosoever finds the material know that I am discomfited for keeping it hidden, and ashamed for the lies I helped preserve, but also know that I acted in what I felt were the best interests for all at the time, and truly for the interest of time itself? Oh, <laughs> I've had... Oh, I've seriously had, like, dreams about this. Finding a secret, picking it up, it turning out to be a mechanical unicorn. Please do not get glassy eyes over this, okay? <laughs> you, we do not have to dig up some old lady's recycling. We can just go home. I kind of want to go dig everything up, though. I like a good mystery. Come on, Jonas. I can't remember where I saw... So I remember there was a point, there was a frequency... And it told me I needed. It, the, I remember her saying that the radio doesn't go that low. I just don't remember where that was. Yes, we must know the truth. Okay. Um, <laughs> Alex, why are you wearing that jacket? It's like 75 degrees. The sun's out, you know? But I thought you said you were going to go swimming anyway. Oh, damn it. The sun is not out. The sun is, I guess, Last year. barely came out just now. But see, this is when I get punished for watching the weatherman. He said it was going to be like overcast. He said there was a chance for clouds. Hey, Michael, we didn't bring drinks. Did we? Wait, Michael? Uh, yeah. What is it? Where's, where's Jonas? Jonas? Who's Jonas? Is someone else coming? Yeah, is that a friend of yours? You want to know who Jonas is? He's my new stepbrother, okay? Do you... do you get what's happening now? <laughs> All right. Can you just call your new friend your best friend for my sake? Stepbrother's kind of encroaching on my territory there. Yeah, it's like when my mom calls her cat her special little lady. It's like, I'm standing right here. You're dead. I'm dead. I'm dead? I think she's talking about um... the, the... The car? No, they don't... Listen. Mom and Dad know. They don't care. Well, I mean, they cared a little, but they know I... No, no, no. You... You, you drowned in in Horn Lake back at home. Yeah, and last week I died in the fire, right? You keep having these nightmares because you eat Mom's cookies, like, right before bed. And anyways, I'm going to teach you how to swim at the pool in the park, so don't worry about it. Today um, turned out to be a flawless day. It really okay. did. Okay. Definitely is weird. <clears throat> it's been a spell since we did something, right? I feel like I haven't talked to you in a while. How have you been? What's been going on? How's classes? How's... Truthfully, I've, um... I've... Ah, sorry. I think... Yeah, I... <laughs> I accidentally left my phone on the ferry, because I do things like that. <laughs> oh, God, you idiot. Go get it before it leaves. When I get back, I want to hear an Alex story. <laughs> Okay. okay. I guess. Whoa. So, uh, do you? Well, I guess you don't remember anything, right? 
What am I meant to remember? I'm sorry, did I forget something? Our whole, like, island horror show. Ghosts and possessions and... And none of this is jarring like anything loose? If this is about Ren's movie, I mean, I told him I didn't want to do it. Half the script was an underwear scene, so, you know, no thanks. Um, I'm glad we could all do stuff today. I'm glad you were cool with it, I mean. I know you guys are really close, and like, I know it can be annoying when somebody starts keeping all their time for their girlfriend or whatever. So, I think it would be cool if we could like, continue to do things together. Yeah, I uh, totally understand. And yeah, um, let's uh, do stuff. She's so much nicer. No, <laughs> cool, cool. Michael, uh, he loves you like a lot. I'm sure you know that, but he talks about you all the time. <laughs> oh, Alex did this, and Alex let the frogs out in science class. Isn't she hilarious? Yeah, well, I love him too. And to fight the skipper for it, but. He didn't reckon I'm oh damn! You got a lot of pixels. What's it up to? Six? Only on burrito days. On non-burrito <laughs> days, it's like eight. Ah, oh, Jesus! Thank God you're back. It's like an eternity sitting here with this one. <laughs> okay. Thanks a lot. No, I know what she's talking about. Hey, I'm interesting. I'm entertaining. See, even he can't keep it locked up. Okay, all right. I was joking. Don't salt the earth now. So, I actually really want a cold something so I'm gonna run into town and get like a soda anybody want anything um, a drink yeah get me a drink nice too. nicely done sure I'll be back okay I'm here what's the story I want the news I want the Alex first edition what's going on things, things are, are bad bad actually mom and dad aren't great and I'm like a hair trigger away from spinning off this planet hey hey look first of all Mom and Dad are... Mom and Dad. They fight a lot, but they're whatever. Everything always blows over. It's gonna be fine. You're too young. We're too young to worry about marital discord. Yeah, sure. And look, I know this was supposed to be our day, but I completely forgot I promised Clarissa I'd do something with her, so thanks for chaperoning. I know it's not what you had in mind, so... Yeah, no, no problem. problem. I'll Just be nice. Don't get all smoochy smooch while I'm in the general vicinity. <laughs> because that would never happen. It's important to me that you like Clarissa, Alex, so tell me the truth. What do you really think of her? She's kind of a bitch. <laughs> um, stick, stick with, with it. it. You're stick gonna die it. anyways, whatever. If she makes you happy. If she makes you laugh, who am I to say anything otherwise? Thank you. Good blessings, good tidings. Oh, you're no, going for broke. That's a good I'm gonna have to do jacket. that too. I should ask for it back. I don't like my new one. Feels like I got shoes on my arms or something. Ah, whatever. It looks better on you anyway. There we go. I don't know why that sent that as a whisper. I should not be doing that. But. <clears throat> So that wasn't the day he died, obviously, because she talked about a different place. Alex, are you all right? Okay. Uh, <laughs> are you are you back? You've been acting super weird for like the last five minutes. Do do, do you know that? I mean, I let it go for the first two, but Jonas, I just saw. I think I just saw my brother. What? Where? Yeah. Um, oh, there's Is something he, there. Did, did you see him somewhere here? I, I was... It was like those time loops we've been experiencing, right? This was... It's like we've been having ripples, and this was a wave. I was bumped. I didn't know Maggie grew up in Maine. Okay, so there's a similar statue of a soldier in Maine where I grew up. My memory of it, I think part of the reason why I said yes when the army recruited me out of college, despite the, my family's protestations. Anna, my closest friend from childhood, was of course thrilled at the possibility of my escape. I anonymously started the petition in 1975 to have this one made after the daughter of Canola crewman Francis Salter asked. I don't know why a marker, maybe for the hope I once had to help people. Alright, good luck to us. All the way back to when Michael was still alive. Just now? Oh, dude, we just lost. <laughs> Oh, that's rough. 
That's rough. Is that it? How how many of you are there? Okay. These things are getting weirder now. A lot weirder. Did I just blow by that thing the last time? And I just didn't even <laughs> oh, notice. Good. You didn't die. Did you get nope. it? Did it work? Do you hate me because it didn't work? It worked. It worked. We got the well, actually, it turned out to be a radio, but I guess it can open... I guess the radio will open this somehow? Hopefully. Give it a whirl. Oh, there it worked. Curse of OK oh, Island, and it reminded me of this game when I saw it. <laughs> please have a boat. Please have a boat. Please have a boat. Just think happy thoughts. Yeah, happy thoughts. Happy thoughts. And then we'll fly away. <laughs> Curse of Oak. That sounds familiar. I don't know why. I've been watching this crazy sci fi show called uh, Aftermath. My wife and I like just gotten sucked into it. It is a crazy, crazy series. Oak Island. Jesus, that house is huge. That lady really knew how to live. It's like the Chateau de... Ah, oh, she does have a boat. Yeah, see? Allie oh, knew what she was here. talking about. She should, anyway. Oops, she had to slip back there. and forth here all summer. Alright. This is gonna get weird. Shooter, huh? It's like a, it's like a boat that needs keys. There are no oars. And before we go crazy, it's not. It wasn't with Maggie's stuff back at the office, like with the radio. Now nope. we checked everything. Huh? In well, the house we uh, go. What's keys? They, they have to be in the house for the movers or her family, you know? That's as good a guess as any. It's a radio lock. The woman sure did love her antiquated security. Alright, so the controller vibrates the second I hit the note. That is a nifty gizmo. Finally, oh, scared me. Thought you were like Maggie oh, she's there. dead body or something. How do you get in here? The door was locked. Do you have like a radio? Right, hold on real quick, I gotta help my son with something. I don't know if I should jump in with you. I'm gonna, gonna make you lose no, the last of them. I don't have a radio. The kitchen window was open. <laughs> kitchen window? 
Where? In the back. In the kitchen. I don't believe you. These windows don't even... They don't work like that. How would you know you've never been here? Look, Cloris is here, so everyone's here now. We can just... Everyone's okay, <laughs> right? That's Better not let you down. Find the keys to the boat, or a phone, or whatever, and just find a way home. I promise. We can all keep talking and or fighting at school. I don't care what she says. Right, just keep your eye on her. Keep your eye on her. Yeah, I just might climb through the kitchen window again. Who knows? Okay, we get it. Haha, -ha, carry on. Everybody find something and hope that it helps. Okay. Nope, there's nothing over. Oh, Man, bookshelf. Man, she owned enough books. It's mostly math, I think. Ergodic thermodynamics and religion. Sheesh, okay, there's a lot of... Okay, we get it. She liked the smell of paper. Fascinating insight. Just shut we'll all miss up. Her dearly. I'm not talking to you. I'm just talking out loud. You can only ever talk out loud. Ugh. How did such a nice person go to being such a bitch? <sighs> okay. What do we have around here? What does Jonas have to say? So it wants me to talk to him, and it doesn't normally do that. How are you doing? How are you doing? <laughs> I think about as bad as everybody else right now. I feel like I've been run over with a truck. With acid wheels, if that makes sense. Yeah, that's pretty much been the slogan of the night. We'll make shirts when we get home. We'll be okay. Alright. Alright, good luck, Funkasaurus. Oh, it's a, it's a draft of her letter that she left in the office. To whom it should concern. She <laughs> left notes everywhere, she said. Dude. Hidden with secret signals. She was an odd one, I'll give her that. But, you know, cool in a way. <laughs> no, I think it's pretty cool, actually. I, I could see myself doing something like this for the the people I leave behind. Well, leave a cheat sheet for the laziest of us, okay? Well, here. I will give... As a Christmas present. There you go. Alright. Diagram. Wait, have you seen this? It's like a, a star map or a diagram of planets or something. Yeah, why would she need anything like a map of the universe? I mean, it's not like she's bouncing stuff off satellites for a job. Or maybe they were back then. Maybe it's what part of the there? relay? Maybe they needed to chart... Uh, signals through space or something? Yeah, maybe. There's oh, a string. That's an attic? I thought it was like a oh. cat's toy or something. Attics are Attics spooky. Are always a little haunted house spooky, right? It's the tight spaces, the darkness, the spiders, the creaking, and well, I'm actually that about covers it. I'm always a, I'm an enabler, aren't I? <laughs> it's what I'm here for. The chest is padlocked. Needs a combination. Mrs. Adler was either paranoid beyond belief or just a very tidy woman. My well, guess she's is buried paranoid. information in sonically camouflaged containers, Jonas. My guess is paranoid. All right, so we need to find where she has this this code hidden. Is there a code somewhere? Oh, I wonder if it's... It said it's padlocked. Ah, <sighs> it's been disconnected. Bummer. Um... I don't know. Let's go uh, see what they're finding downstairs. Put Maybe some clothes on. Out. <laughs> Remember that guy? Where are your parents? Your kids better get... Oh, um, Chad's lake house. Yeah. Yeah, that guy was a friggin' weirdo. Uh, yeah. Okay, so they didn't go with him? Why did he enter here all by himself? She was part of a cover-up and say that she has a good reason to be paranoid. Find Boy, anything too. useful? Not yet. But you know, the night is young. Uh how's the um Nona stuff going? Yeah. What why do you not? care? Like, seriously, why didn't you let me go with you to Main Street? 
Did I do something that bad? All right, let it go, Ryan, dude. honestly, the time has come to let it go. I mean, this just can't be a big deal compared to everything else tonight. Then I'm I I, I don't I don't know. I'm just sore about it still, but whatever. I'll chew my resentment down till we're out. Dude, chill the f out. Like, really? Okay, let's look at the desk before I look at the real. Huh. Ren, you were right. There's like a ledger here. The Adler family does own the island. Never doubt me. And here's the combination for the. There's a, a padlock chest in the attic upstairs. Twenty nine, eighteen, fifty four. Uh, cool. She made a lot of, what should I call these slides? They're not videos. Um, silent memories? <laughs> okay, so can I watch There's one? There's something in here. No, Just I cannot. Like vacation slides or something. Dude, the brownie swore off and he's not a happy man anymore. I kind of like High Ren. He was at least tolerable. He's kind of a whiny bitch when he's not high. Or maybe that's him just really, really high because that second brownie kicked Are in you, finally. Are uh, you doing okay? Yeah, I'm alright. Yeah? We're going home soon, so... Yeah, that's true. Alright. I'd hang out with higher end myself too. Okay. Nine, eighteen, fifty-four. It's a lot of radios and those containers we saw at the town office. Oh, and like a map of the caverns. She's written here. Tune into the source. We think that means she couldn't have known about the ghosts, right? Tune into the source. It, it's probably something about the special radios, you know? Huh. Is this? Ah, the boat keys. Got him. Perfecto. Ren's just kind of kicking it there. Funny. All right, we got keys for the boat. Where? Jonas found them in a chest upstairs. So say thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. I was just saying it. It's not directed at you or anything. Okay. Oh my God, Jonas. Oh shit. Oh no. Come down here, please. Uh, we have something I want to show you. Clarissa, what's going on? You're conf Nona, come on, honey. It's time to motor. What the fuck? Ren, come on. We got a boat to catch, buddy. Um, I think they're dead. Yep. Gonna go with dead. Up and at him. All right, and I can't, I can't leave. So I'm stuck. Ah, oh God, that made now me jump. Now you're a bit confused, <laughs> but don't fret. This will be the final part of your training, Alex. All training is supervised by very skilled training? instructors. Training? I, I don't want to be trained. What are you signed up for, this, Alexandra? What? In the caverns, you tuned in to our signal. So please, I cannot bear your excuses, offspring. How was I meant to know what the hell was going to happen? And yet, without understanding your footing, you still acted. But don't worry. The test is easy. We will speak of something we see in the house, and you will go and find it. There was a see, lot of eyes. As simple and good humor as your mother's apple pie. And what if, what I, if I don't? What if I don't, huh? What if I just stand here and don't go along with this? Refusal to cooperate will incur grim penalties, I'm afraid, but it's your choice. And now, let's start with the softball. I spy, with my little eye, radiation. There is, of course, a time limit here. So, time. TV. Is it, are you talking about the TV? Very good. Well done. The older models and maybe the X-rays. But right now, you'd be wise to think of radiation. Should have met my other sense. Pay attention. What are you even talking about? I spy. With oh, my God. little eye, a notch. Let's make this a little harder, okay? And a what? Six, I can't. No, 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 no. Five, four, three, two, I, 
I... Alexandra, what a disappointment you've turned out to be. You know, it turned the controls on me. Don't just just stop, please. No, 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 Don't no, no. Leave him alone. Oh, your new brother. Bring him back right now. Oh, I'm sorry, dear. What's done is done, as they say. It's time for the bonus round, Alex. So oh, stay shit, quick. Mike. This is what you really want to find. I spy with my little eye a picture of a memory. Be fast now. The the picture of of I guess it's Maggie Adler and somebody. Is this it? Yes, very nice. That's Margaret Adler and her friend Anna. See, you and your schoolyard chums are experiencing. Well, this has sort of happened before. Maggie and Anna tried to sport with us many years ago, and well, only one survived. But in the process, we discovered a way for us to return, so to speak. It just takes a little time. Okay. And a far reaching tolerance for the What if we help you? Okay, if we. If I help you, will you stop whatever it is that you're doing with my friends? Ah, uh, well. There's the rub. They're not an eternal recurrence. The waves. It's the waves, we think. Wait, no, and no, no. You use the waves to absorb into your friends so as sunlight blooms into flowers. And we will grow. And we will engulf. No, yeah, you can't do that. You can't do that! Think about what you're doing! We can do that, Alex. And what it seems to your parents as 80 years has been for us eons to know an existence without life. We tried it too quickly with Anna, but now we know to wait and soak. We had to keep you here on the island. And it will be a great honor, Alex, no. really, to carry us through this life and on to the next. You've, there has you guys to be another way. I mean, just maybe. I mean, maybe I can do something with the radio. We never had our time. It was rigged from us. We watched the universe's conception flag to its demise over and over and over again. You don't know what it's been like, but how could you? What you're doing is wrong, and you know that. Any integrity we once had drowned in the reef ages ago. When our vessel dashed on the rocks, we had until dawn, and so are you. We would spend our time wisely, and we thank you for your good service. Okay. Alright, so are we stuck in a loop again? Because there's that thing. Okay, I'm not 100% sure what just happened other than that they... Don't influence Michael should go out Michael, on Michael, you should go to school here. Okay, seriously, who are you? Okay. Um, not 100% sure what just happened. I mean, they pretty much just admitted they have to possess slowly and then take over the life forms and then they can come back to life. So we can go on. <laughs> I think I'm going to be sick. Me first. Uh, it wasn't a dream or vision or something. Uh, does anyone buy the whole eternal recurrence thing? Literally? No idea what you're talking about right now. Yeah, what's that again? Is that like reincarnation? We... Uh, it's basically that we're gonna keep doing the same stuff over and over in infinite versions of our lives. Sounds, uh, bleak. Not if you make the right choices the first time, I guess. Eh. Uh, I wish there was, like, just something here that explained what the crap she was up to. Maggie, forget about it. It's a dead end. Yeah, like, just give us a clue. She knew about some of this stuff, at least. Where did Clarissa go? And why is no one else freaking out that she was here? And she's gone now. What the F? You want to see if it'll start? Uh, but not really. They don't even seem shaken that... Wait, didn't I come here for the boat? Why... Okay, I'm... 
what do I need to do? Let's see, Adler number station 140.1. Am I supposed to go somewhere else? Let's let's go check back under underground over here. Be careful, that film's really flammable. Wouldn't want Smoke and Johnny to light the house on fire. Ha ha. All right, there's let's watch the reel. Here. Experiments and findings of experienced phenomena, January fifty-two. Awesome. Oh man, if this turns out to be just prehistoric home videos. Yeah. I'm sure that God, it's just the first thing. Just give it a second to warm up, will you? Okay, we're getting warmer, I think. So, if you look at the, like, lines or whatever, the bomb shelter should lead right into the cave. Just like from another angle. According to this, at least. Oh, so it does. But won't it be, like, locked or something, right? Yeah, how do we get in? It's just like the cave wall, only steel or whatever bomb shelters are made out of. Oh, what? She knew about these things? Wow, she that's She didn't know crazy. about these. It says that to fix a temporal tear, that's a mouthful, in the cave, we would need to transpose to the other side and tune into the source within itself. Okay, but we're not doing that, right? Good question. Yeah, that's... We might have that's to. That's going a little above, above and beyond. Well, I don't know what to tell you, but strap in, boys and girls, because we might have to, okay? If it's the only thing that will fix us. Yeah, but that's, like, scary. Well, something better work. Or we're boned. Or we're boned. Precisely. <laughs> They're boned. All right. Oh, sorry, this is like, this looks like the end, but from the, from the wrong film thing. No, 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 wait. This is something I actually remember from that stupid radio tour thing, because it, like, sounded so weird. It's called the call and response system. It unlocks the bomb shelter. This is showing us how to do it. See, it says when someone sends an emergency signal from the capward station in the woods and the receiving station confirms it. It's like a connected response thing. Sweet. All right, but come on, Nona, do you honestly believe that the old equipment in either building will still work? It's, I don't know, but it's the only thing we have so far. And time's She's clicking. Right. Alex and me will head through the woods, do the, um, call part. You and Ren can hang by the door to the bomb shelter and open it when it's ready. I know, right? All right. Wait, wait, I, um, I'm sorry. I kind of zoned out there for a second. What are we doing? Ren and Nona are team, um, Soaring Eagle, and you Here's and I are awesome now. squad. Uh, I want that one. And we're splitting up to work on some old fangled machinery to open the bomb shelter, to get into the cave, to yada yada yada, save our lives or whatever. Okay, so we need to get all the way back up to the bridge stand. Alright. Alright, break. And if anything <clears throat> goes wrong, please, don't tell me. I won't want to know. Well, now I'll be sure to I'm tell you. Now I'm going to run over there and specifically tell you at the first drop of bad news. No! Hold on real quick, I'll be right back. I gotta help my kid with something.
All right, sorry that took so long. My, whew, um, had to change my kid's sheets. He, uh, his water bottle exploded. <laughs> and he was all upset. And yeah, you just keep losing. <laughs> So, nope, keep that closed. just can't keep it as long I can keep giving them to you and you lose them <laughs> okay so we need to go whoa something's happening oh shit Don't kill Ren. <clears throat> Alex. Alex, okay. Are you are you back to normal? Um, I just saw it, it, it was like a premonition, I think. And, and I know that sounds whatever, but this must be what it's like when people say they do that cuz I kind of just saw Ren drowning. Okay, okay. Just take it easy for a second. You went all red-eyed like when we get possessed. I can't let that matter right now. Uh, Ren, look, I just know he the levels me. work based I mean, off of how much you have. Trouble must mean he's like actually in trouble, right? They aren't really. long just an withstanding, which I wish they were. Something. Like, look, when I went under, I saw, but not really, you on a beach with a battleship. Oh, is that really what? <laughs> no, look, it kind of made sense. Hey, guys. Uh, wait. Did I get the plan wrong? Because if I got it right. No, you didn't get it wrong. You're supposed to be yellow brick roading into the wood station right about now. I saw... I saw Ren drowning in a... The only way to describe it is it was like a vision or something. What? Seriously? Alex got possessed for a minute there. And yes, it was scary, but it was just a hallucination triggered by ghosts rummaging around through her brain. No big deal. I mean, they're clearly fine. Well, wait. Okay, I guess they're fine. For them. Yeah, I what guess. Okay, well, it's been fun catching up, kids. We'll go do our half of the fix the ghost problem equation now. All right. See you after at the bomb shelter. Okay, so he's alive. <clears throat> I guess we're gonna go up here. So it was 140 something. I guess that's not gonna work there. Okay. Um, continue on our way. I kind of went this way because I really wanted to see if there were any piles of rocks I'd missed. No. <clears throat> We're not going to the calm tower. We're going to the woods. Here we go. Yeah, I'm at half. Like, I don't want to pass them up. If I can find them all, I want to find them all. I'm not 100% sure what they all do. I know that they're increasingly getting freakier and freakier. You know what time it is? It's four in the morning. Which is usually about the time everyone decides if they're going to bed or ordering another three pizzas. Yeah? What's yeah. your vote usually? In, uh, 
that situation. Uh, never leave pizza on the table. It's like getting 11 in blackjack. Just double down. Don't even think about it. You think yep. this tuning into the tear thing's gonna work? Like, really? It really doesn't matter if I think it's gonna work. It's sort of all we have, and we're running out of time. It is all we have, yeah. I just... I just wish I felt like the ghosts were concerned I think this, that their plan won't um, work. Stuff is getting pulled in from, like, their time or something. This is so weird. Um, yeah, it's not exactly a good omen. I think we're running out of runway here. Okay. Alright, so last time I just jumped across that. I didn't climb down to see what's over here. <clears throat> So let's do a little bit of climbing and let's see what we're dealing with around here. I guess Maggie was the one who had this place turned into a park. So Adler Letters Part 1. I got a silver trophy. So um, after the fort closed, I used the considerable resources for my father's endowment to buy up most of the land or influence government officials to declare that which I could not buy protected. I have not been entirely successful, and have watched in horror as a small tourist industry has precariously sprung upon this cursed island. Even the family of one of the sailors who died, Calvin Gilbert, set up a restaurant to cater to inquisitive out-of-towners. I can promise this, though. The museum will never happen, and the beach and caves will all be boarded up. So she's trying to keep people away from here. And she obviously died trying to do it. What is this place? When he was stationed at Fort Milner, Colonel Tim Russell would frequently wander the woods west of his barracks and sketch the wildlife he'd encounter on his walks. After the fort closed in 1974, he led a petition to make the land federally protected, and in 1988, he succeeded. Now, Edwards Forest is an internationally recognized wildlife refuge and bird sanctuary, home to 120 bird species, most notably the white-tailed towhee, a large sparrow indigenous to only this island. The roosting tree that stands before you is a 400-year-old red alder, famous since its discovery in 1655 when Franciscan friars noted that its unusually twisted trunk is bent true north. Yeah, I agree. Outdoors are awesome, but deep woods, man, that's some scary shit. This game makes me think of all the strange stuff I've seen. <laughs> There's something else out there. Aliens, ghosts, who knows. Alright, we're gonna make that jump now. Because I saw a little pile of rocks. And I don't know if it's one I've already gotten or not. I don't think it is. Yep, doesn't appear to be. Wonderful. Park ranger that had done this for years, killing himself. I don't know about you, but I'm convinced Clarissa's dead. 
Whatever happened to that poor girl. You don't fall from there. And live. <clears throat> They've taken over her body. Entirely. Oh yeah, I've seen some spooky stuff in the woods. Just shit that you can't necessarily com explain out of the corner of your eyes, left and right. No. Nothing dead on. I don't spend a whole lot of time out there. Now the station's up at the top of the hill. <sighs> I hope this works. Okay, so if I had gone on the bottom, that would be that lower, lower thing there. Um, I know he said the station at the top of the hill. I don't know if I've ever jumped across this way. Oh, let's go to the cemetery. That, that's a great place to go hang out right now, isn't it? Easy. If indeed he find fault with anything or expose it. With charity, the abbot shall discuss it prudently. Lest perchance God has served him for this very thing. Okay. She thinks that the ghosts were pushed out of our reality and maybe aren't actually dead? My belief, bolstered by Anna's and my research conducted largely at the Catbird Station where interruptions were rare, is that the men and women of the USS Canola were separated from our dimensional existence by the implosion of the submarine's nuclear reactor. I identified one passenger, Henry, by his call sign, and his confused diction and reliance on game logic says to me that their emotional state, if not mental states, had been reduced to that of children, a thought I cling to when I envision Anna's demise. I was camping one night and I could have sworn I'd see uh, eyes looking at me from the dark part of the woods. Yeah. I... Uh, not necessarily, like, spooky spooky. Uh, <clears throat> but there was one night my brother and I were camping as kids and uh, decided to sleep out under the stars and were awoken in the middle of the night to the growl of a cougar. Nothing... I've never heard anything else in my life that has scared me so terrifyingly than that sound. We immediately went and slept in the car. <laughs> Alright, is there anything else in here that I missed? No? Yeah. Big cats are no good. <laughs> that, that's some trouble right there. So, oh, that's right, the campground's over that way. You have to take the little... the ferry. Now the station's up at the top oh, of the damn hill. Damn it. I hope this works. God, we're in another loop-de-loo. They always come at the most appropriate... What is that? What? Ren. No, no, what happened? What's wrong with Ren? Renz, he's... he had an accident. He... he died. I couldn't... Oh my god, Ren. I... I can't believe this. What happened? He... he drowned. He took a fall. What? I don't know. He just... he just stopped. I mean, does it really matter what happened? Either way, done is done. And done. Uh, Fred, whatever you want to call it, I know you're doing it. Just fix it. It's not us doing it, dear. We weren't lying. The time loops, as you've taken to calling them, which we do find so adorable, are of your own making. Yeah, sure. Just like you're infesting us like lice isn't your fault either. That we have and will own up to, but the other stuff, that we're afraid is on you. Alex, we know you're in charge, and we know your plan, and we also know that your plan won't work. It never does. So we have a proposition for you. A deal. A bargain, really. And you should take it. Closing the tear in the cave might work. You don't know that for sure. 
We do know that for sure. We've seen others try. We've seen you try. So pay attention. That's terrifying, Bugsaurus. She's gone. We'll pilot her through the rest of existence, and there's nothing you can do to change that. But if you agree to let us take her, let her go quietly and without fuss. We won't slaughter the rest of your friends, like young Reginald here. We leave the rest of you cattle alone. We only really need. You know, I don't get it. Why do you even need my permission if you have her already? Don't misunderstand. We don't need anything from you except what we can willingly take. We're merely offering you an arrangement that would leave both parties satisfied. Well, somewhat satisfied. Oh, shit. Your friends would be fine. And your not-so friend is none of your concern anyway. <laughs> well, you can't say we never tried. You don't have much time left. Do you know how we know you don't have much time left? How? Fine. Shoot. How do you know? We know because we can be Jonas for this long. And his soul is as quiet as an empty church. Just never say we didn't provide you all the rules. What is... Where's Jonas? How do I get out of this loop? Well, there's one up there, there's two up there, they're all up there. Okay. Yeah, that'd be terrifying with the, knowing a bear was that close to you. <clears throat> Dude, this would freak the hell out of me. your best friend Alex I I'm sorry I don't, I don't know what happened one minute he was there and then he was just it's okay Nona you, you didn't do anything wrong I know it's not your fault of course it's not your fault I didn't know him that well but I like what I'd gotten to know I'm sorry it's I shouldn't it's colossally stupid of me to talk about him like that with you here this is he was more important no, not really. Ren would be flattered to hear you say anything about him, so if he can hear this at all, trust me, he's over the moon right now. Sure. It's a tiny thing, but I hope he knew that I liked him. He knew, Nona. Don't worry. He knew. Like I said, it's a tiny thing, but thanks, Alex. Stations up at the top okay. of the... Ugh. God, that was... My mouth feels like I just ate a tree. The ghosts, they tried to make, like, a deal with me for Clarissa's life. I didn't take it, of course, but... I don't know, I, I just thought you should know. God, that must mean they're getting desperate or something. If they had any, like, power over the situation, they wouldn't try to work out a compromise. Anyway. Yeah. Hello? What? Are they? Oh, they're um, they're somehow. I guess they're somehow broadcasting or something from. And I got the, this uh, one, I believe, speakers. already. But we'll double check it. Are you guys at the station? They're both alive. Hey, anybody? That's all I care about. Jonas. God. Yep, we're coming. Yes. No, we are there. Seriously, right in the throat. Jonas, don't listen. Right, radio. We're all set here for the, uh, thing the thing? That. The machinery, okay, beacon hug, or it. whatever we're doing? Yeah, let's do it! Time's wasted. Like, actually wasted. Like, I feel my body wasted away. No, it's, it's okay for, like, dealing with stuff. We had to deal with stuff. What stuff? Hello, we're here. We made it. Hello. Oh, hello. This is Edward Island's emergency. How may I help you? 
If you're being sat on by a very large burglar, just mash the dial with your fist. I'd like please. to report oh, a poltergeist. Oh my god, I'd like to report a poltergeist. They've come into my house, they've shaved all my cats, they look better in my mittens. Oh, I just need any and all advice you can give me. Well, first... Everyone just shut up. You can play dress up phone time when you get home. Yeah, I guess he's right, actually. Okay, all right, fine. Signal verified. Shelter TF1 open. Nice. I guess it worked. Great. Okay, meet you well, there. Meet you there. Right. See you at the shelter. Over and out. All right. Let's go. What could go wrong, right? We're just gonna go inside a bomb shelter. <coughs> Should be safe, right? <laughs> They're meant to be safe. I'm thoroughly impressed at how spooky this game actually is, though. Totally caught me off guard. Really had no idea what this game was going to be about. Like, I honestly went into it thinking this was like a, you know, 2D platformer metroidvania. Boy, was I wrong. <laughs> Further from it. talking about okay 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 I'm Jesus Christ I really hate that but I'm I think um what is it like what does it feel like when that happens is you forget stuff really like what you're supposed to be doing or I usually forget my dad's name to start and then it snowballs into not remembering how to walk or talk and but you like see stuff right like when I saw Michael on the beach. Yeah, I, I see stuff, but it's like I don't know. They're like dreams. They just dissolve <laughs> when they're back. Like that scary, it does. Needless to say, when I like drown or whatever in my own body, and it's starting to feel like, just like, how do I say this? Because it's I don't... okay, Jonas. Just say what's on your brain. I just want to say, I just I think it would have been cool us living together for for whatever senior year, and I'm just glad I met you. That's all. Um... I'm just glad we met. <laughs> I'm glad too, okay? So there, it's out in the open, we're both glad. Okay, good. So totally seems like it. he's just totally and okay with dying. The whole escaping. <laughs> he's wearing them down. Or the ghosts are wearing them down, it seems. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna say one thing, and then I promise it'd be the last time I bring it up tonight. But you know, you screwed up with Ashley at the concert, right? I mean, it's not a giant thing, but still. Huh? Huh? I didn't screw up. How was I supposed to know her mom was gonna call in the car stolen? I thought she had permission. Give me a break. Even if you didn't know, which come on, even if you didn't know that, you still knew you didn't have permission to go to the concert. <sighs> just tell me it's the last time I hear about you stealing a car. However, inadvertently, my little heart can't handle the excitement. It'll be the last time, but maybe not for the reasons you think. I don't really care about the reasons, just for my own sanity, don't do it anymore. Oh, and I wanted to say, um, <laughs> per your advice, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna really, um, like, commit to Clarissa. <laughs> that sounds dumb, like I'm pinning her or something. Uh, commit? What the hell does that mean? You're in high school. <laughs> I know, I know. I sound like I'm 40, but I'm just, I don't know. It's gonna be, it's not gonna be casual anymore. Yeah, it's he definitely did thing, seem like a pretty thing. down to earth guy. So just get used to her. That's all I'm saying. 
Come on, let's get to the sentry before the last boat comes. I gotta get the uh, visual aid for the history project. And then I just gotta write the stupid essay. What history project? They still make you do, like, work with so little left in the year? Unfortunately. This is, it's just like a town history thing for civics, you Come know? On, so it's forced me to kind of, I don't know. And I mean, it's funny, I don't know if I even want to be here next year. It's just all so flat. Same people, the same expressions. Really? Why leave? I mean, yeah, it can suck sometimes, but it's pretty much like everywhere else. This is gonna sound weird, but everybody knows me here. I know you think I have it on easy street, but people looking at you all the time, wanting evidence that it's good, that they lived here, that good things can happen to people that are from here, it can get to be a real drag. Like, how about somebody else be captain of whatever for once? Give me a rest. Just don't put so much pressure on yourself, Michael. Who cares what they think? You're gonna... You're gonna do what you're gonna do. I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do. Yes, I will. <laughs> uh, let's head back before Karen Strands is here. You know, when we saw Uncle Pete last month, I wanted to ask him, because he, he got out moving to New York. And I asked him if it was hard leaving. Know what he said? Um, it was easy. I mean, knowing Uncle Peter, he was probably three sheets to the wind. He said the hardest part was deciding what to take with him and what to leave behind. I thought it was, I don't know, for him, <laughs> kind of almost touching. Huh, that's actually, that's not bad. <laughs> I cannot believe I had to pick you up from the police station because of Grand Theft Auto. I mean, that is too funny. <laughs> Stop it. Okay. Yeah, her brother definitely seems like a definitely a solid person. Very dependable person. Good friend. You went bad again? I couldn't get you out of it. We should really, we should get this done, now. I saw, I saw Michael again. I just, I'm sorry. When I'm there, this is I just getting get weird. sucked into it. Like, nothing happened. Come on, it's all right. I think I can hear Ren and Nona down there. Just don't say anything to them, okay? This say is... anything about what? What are you guys talking about? We're dating. We're dating. Nona and I, we're going to date. Rick, dude, <laughs> what did I just say? What? They asked, right? You asked. Mazel tov on the happy couple. About time you did something <laughs> about you. it, right? No, stop. It's one date at the Revival Theater. We're just going to sit quietly in the dark and watch a documentary on Bosnian genocide. Hmm. Romantic. No, that hey, I don't. One man's depressant is another chick's upper. Used to oh, smoke. Is a great don't do that house. anymore either. It took me a long time to quit. Hands if you sit in G, by the way. Please don't tell him that. Anyways, I know it's stupid to be planning or whatever for this, but I don't know. I just feel like maybe it's not that insignificant or whatever. Whatever. Truly the language of love. <laughs> Shut up. You know what I mean. Okay, we got well, ghosts I'm to happy destroy. for you, but we still have the little issue of submarine ghosts to um exercise. Yeah. That thing. I... I want to get this off my chest. Just... Something what happened now? to us tonight, Alex. Something broke. <clears throat> I don't know if it was the ghost or whatever, but... You've been acting like... Not you. Ren. No. I just... I don't know. Ren, are You're you kidding, right? This is what you want to tell me before we go in there? I know. I'm sorry. It's, it's just been... It's just been a crappy night. I don't even know what I'm saying. This is stupid, but... Can we like take a picture? Why? I don't know. Yeah, In let's do it. Go Fine. Bad and... Make you happy. Yeah, let's do it. We're on a beach, kind of. Let's keep a shred of normal here. Yeah, and Chew never. Right, let's take it. Alex, get in Chu here. never really appealed to me. You're not getting out of it. Mainly because of how addictive right. it is, I knew I'd never stop. Once we're in there, the door won't open again since the system's so convoluted. So. Make sure you're ready to finish this before we go inside.
Oh. Yeah, fuck it. Let's just go. Let's do it. Oh, let's talk to everybody. Hug. We'll be back. Oh, I know. Oof. Okay. I... Uh, all right. Why not? She's a hugger. <laughs> I am coming with you, you know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I smoked for... about ten years. And... Uh, hypnosis is what actually got me to finally stop. Two and a half packs went cold turkey. And it's now been about six years since I've smoked. Or, sorry, it's been five, yeah, five years. Listen, Alex, I don't want to say anything to Ren or Nona, but the truth of it is I'm not feeling too awesome right now. It's kind of getting <clears throat> worse, actually. Just hang in there, Jonas, okay? I know you feel like a garbage snowman right now, but we're almost done. Hypnosis was the only thing hey, that worked for me. Man who's short of time. Huh? Uh, Have you heard this one? No, no idea. Clue. Tim. You call him Tim. Short on time. <laughs> oh. <sighs> yeah, it's not one of my finest. <laughs> but yeah, so it was a. I tried the gum. I tried the patch. I didn't want to try Chantix because I have. A sleeping disorder where I mean like I, I sleepwalk I do all that stuff and I'd heard that Chantix gives you very vivid dreams and vivid nightmares and I did not want to turn that into something crazy um, so I did not try that uh, and then finally there was this app that was put on by an actual hypnotherapist on the, the Apple store that had some decent really good reviews and actually quite a few celebrities backing it that had quit smoking using it and I said it was like the price of a pack of cigarettes so I said you know fuck it I'll try it and overnight just after the first the first uh, two sessions man I never wanted to smoke again <laughs> it's, it feels like wrong to see one of these when we're not in a, a time loop right <laughs> that is kind of weird yeah it kind of does and I'd tried to quit so many different times before that I was finally just at that point where I mentally was like, you know what, okay, I'm open to this idea. Your brain's really open to all kinds of suggestion when you look at things along the lines of, like, how marketing works and stuff like that, that why wouldn't someone be able to be hypnotized? I mean, that's essentially how marketing works, is hypnotizing you into thinking you need something. And so I figured, fuck it, I'll give it a shot. You know, if it doesn't work, oh well, I'm out just the amount of cost of a pack of cigarettes and if it works then great it worked really well i was really amazed it's kind of spooky right the beds thinking they would have slept here while the rest of us burned yeah but do you think it would even have worked like if if yugoslavia or whoever dropped an a-bomb on their heads i don't know if this place would have held up yeah maybe not it's kind of sad to think about hey. One of those frequencies. Wait, before... Look, if something happens on the other side of this door, just... Don't be stupid. Cut and run, okay? If I turn into dead weight or start freaking out, just get to the boat. Do whatever you have to. We're Jonas, all getting out of here, buddy. we're all getting out of here. I mean, look, we're about to fix this in two minutes. Two minutes. This is microwave popcorn of a problem. I'm not asking, I'm telling. Okay, Mr. Dramatic, will you just shut up and help me with the door? Wait, 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 okay, you know what? There, there's like the tenth time we've heard this song all night. There is something going on with... Like, why would this specific tune be all over the place? I have... Okay, if it'll make you feel better, we'll investigate the case of Jonas's mom's weird song before we save our lives. Sounds perfect. Well, the thing did just start playing on its own. It's like breaking or something. Can you... can you fix it? It's... it sounds like it's her. 
like a recording, or it's just... It's my mom. That's her voice in the static. You can hear that, right? I mean, I yeah. know you don't know what she sounded like, but you can hear that. The voice, right? Jonas, this... It doesn't feel right. Something's wrong. Wait, wait, wait. Is it possible? Do you, th do you think it's possible? I mean, we've been, like, talking with ghosts the entire... Mom? Well, uh... Jonas, wait! Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, no, what I do? Jonas, I need you! Come back! Come... <sighs> Oh fuck. Um Hell. I I don't even know what I I don't I don't know. <laughs> it's really the only way I can put it. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, is he dead? Is he in some other world now? Like, wh what just... What happened? Well, I you said know, it didn't feel right, is, and then it we could have forced me to do that. Whatever we wanted. We weren't prisoners of the cave. Then but leave. Just leave, then. Why are you... Why are you still here? Why not move on of all of them? Because it's scary, that's why. Have you ever stared into nothing and moved with it and felt a part in it? It's worse than when we were wilting into atoms. Yes, I have, actually. Oh, what? Sitting in your room breaking from your brother? You're like this one. Whatever you think you can do, you can't. We're not going back. We won't go back. Child, we your child. Oh, I gotta watch how it responds. There we go. Uh, Wait, but this has always worked before. Uh. Oh, what did you do now, girl? The submarine. You've come to close the hole. Right, Dad? Well, you're gonna find out it's not that simple. Yeah, I've come to close the hole. I've come to to do what Maggie Adler tried to do 50 years ago, all right? <laughs> okay, well, it didn't work then. Why would it work now? God, you're so spoiled. You don't even know the cost of things. <laughs> Closing the hole with your stupid toy. We'll spare your, your friends from our bloom, sure. But it will seal you up in here with us. You'll die. Oh, getting started already, okay. You want to play chicken with the void? Fuck. We can see how long you stay on the throttle. Oh, you don't want this. Then get out of everybody and I'll stop. It's yeah, very long it's long very easy. Long. Understand your situation and accept it. Jealous? I guess? Kinda? Probably should have said it was for my friends.
Jonas, Jonas, where? Oh, where are you? Hold on, hold on. Oh, okay, this is this is gonna be fine. Just work through it. Uh. Tell Michael should break to up break up with Clarissa. up with Clarissa. It's for the best. But Michael's dead. How could I even? Whoa, wait, what? What's happening? Holy shit. Hello, are you... Look, is someone there? Jonas, if you're still there, this would be a great time to say something. Uh... Don't let Jonas, Jonas talk, talk to, to his mom. mother. It's not good for him. His mom's dead. I know his mom's dead. What is... How is this possible? What's going on? Um... Well, that could have gone better. <sighs> right. Time loop. Uh... Don't Just influence don't try Michael. Influence Michael. He can live his own life. What does this... What does this matter? He's dead. He's not... He's not here. <sighs> I'm... I'm... Really confused. <laughs> Why would it allow me to make these decisions at the end of this? Like, it... dead face, think void. Okay. Am, am I dead? Well, I gathered that. I just don't know why it would have me play that if my character's dead. Oh, hey. I didn't even know you were home. You're always so quiet. It's like living with a little fairy tale mouse. Are you back? Are we back now, or...? Uh, yeah, I'm back. I was only going to be at Terry's house for the game. I've been, like, struggling with the stupid speech, the graduation thing. I don't want it to be just the usual blah blah we've come so far type stuff. It should have, like, a point, right? It should bring you to your feet about something. Uh, sure, yeah. I don't think she's feet. dead either. I'm guessing <clears throat> Mom probably told you about my scholarship to State, right? I don't really know how I feel about it. I mean, I feel it's not like it's a bad thing. It's a good thing, obviously. Well, uh, what are you thinking? Engineering? Well, you said something about sports medicine one time. Yeah, I don't know about that anymore. It's just, you know, it seems like half the teachers are alumni and... Actually, I'm about to be really arrogant and presumptuous and say mean things for no real reason other than I think I know better, so forget it. I've bored you enough. You're boring me right now. I'm listening. Come just on. Listening. I'm not judge. No, not, no, really. Not casting I'm talking influence. out of my ass. It's fine. Listen, here's the... You can't tell mom or dad, but Clarissa and I are talking about just leaving. Getting an apartment somewhere and and just doing our own thing, you know. Getting... Oh, wow, that's that's exciting. This is like a huge deal, like like the boxcar children version of getting married. Or something's something. going on. Uh, it's yeah, it's kind of a big deal, I guess. It'll be a lot harder to break up, so there's some level of uh, vow there. She's been really pushing for it, wanting to look for places, and uh, I'm into the idea. I really am. I just I wouldn't feel right about it if I didn't have your like blessing first. So, can you just wave your hand over my head or something and say I'm all right to do this? Michael, honestly, I don't think it matters. O or it, it doesn't matter what I think, at least. It matters to me. Alex, just get good friends, okay? And when you're with those friends, just say yes to everything. And keep away from boys when you talk to them, it feels like you're performing. But also, stay away from girls who look you in the eye for too long. And match every beer with a water. And take classes outside of school. Classes you don't need. Um, okay. I'll make a, a checklist. This is just... This is a just-in-case package, okay? Just in case I'm not around. And I love you, and you're amazing, and that's it. So... I love you, too. Very solid advice. But soon, I shall be so I cannot remember any but the things that never happened. 
Yeah, I... I don't know. Hey, she's waking up. Whoa. Is she alright? Uh, ouch. Is, um... <clears throat> is everyone doing alright? Still, um, yourselves? Yeah, I think we're all accounted for, right? Yeah. Everybody's here? Uh, yeah, my arm fell asleep. Jonas but... carried you here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. The, the important thing is, whatever you did in the cave, it worked. The tear, the hole, it's fixed. The ghosts are gone. We're going home. Or at least they've... they've stopped trying to eat our souls. Yeah, it's important to note that. That's... I'm... I'm glad. I'm sorry. I'm just... I was back. I fell back a few years during the whole thing, and... I just saw Michael again. That's all. So, I'm just a little rattled right now. You... saw Mike? What happened? What... what was it like? Well, wait... Yeah, okay, relax. Everybody, just let her get... I just talked to him. He, he was there in the... whatever was happening. We talked about his future and what he wanted to do. It was... something. I'm sorry, Alex. Yeah, it's... I'm sure it was rough. Eh, yeah, it's good no, to see him. No, it was, um... It was good to see him. It was good. He looked good. He looked... Um... Himself. I had my older sister. It was a night where... I don't even remember why she was mad at me. Probably something I said to our mom. But I don't know why that who cares night would visit. I wouldn't put much thought into it, Clarissa. Really. Yeah, it doesn't matter now. Maybe it's... I don't know, maybe it's like what matters to us showed up or something. The universe doesn't care about what matters to us. Then it doesn't matter anyway. No, I guess it doesn't. I can't believe everything that happened. I just... I feel like we should tell everyone we know. Like, go on a freaking book tour, but... We sound insane. I think insane. we sound nuts, honestly. I, I mean, it's not like... It's not like we have any proof any of this actually happened. Hey, is this your book? Oh, man. This is... We're gonna be the best couple ever. Uh, okay. Slow down. I lost mm -hmm. it on the way. I <laughs> Dude, he's sure just like full throttle into this. Lost it overboard. Hey, that reminds me. What were we... We were talking about something stupid right before Alex woke up. Prom? Uh, uh, prom. 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 I am definitely skipping this one. I'm deferring the crown to that wheelchair girl. Are you going, Alex? Are we supposed to still spike the punch or just bring in flasks? I mean, yeah, do they even okay, have punch? Okay. Sure, why not? Uh, I guess. I mean, if I find a date, you know, I'm not gonna go stag. I have my dignity. Ben Owens will ask you. Or rather, he's going to ask you unless I physically prevent him. Eh, you can do better. Come on, come with me and Nona. We'll go dress shopping. It'll be fun. It'll be like a movie montage, except none of us are prostitutes. Say yes no to your friends. Day. Uh, sounds great. Yeah, I mean, I guess I should spiffy up once in my life. All right, just don't say phrases like that while we're out and we'll be solid. <laughs> All right, you know what? It's picture time. Oh my god, come on. Nona. <sighs> eh, might yeah, as well. I guess we should. Tonight's been, um, noteworthy. Noteworthy. That is a way to say it. Yeah, I'd probably say it another way. Let's, um, let's actually move outside so we can get the light. Sure. Ren, what is that book, anyway? I don't know. I can hardly make heads or tails out of what the hell he's talking about half the time. Here's good for the... yeah, just here. Like, look. I'll just pick a random-ass page. Come on, two... Like, this, here. When I was younger, I could remember anything, whether it happened or not. But soon, I shall be so I cannot remember any but the things that never happened. Yeah, I... I don't know. Okay, everyone. Wait, didn't you... Cheese! The way... It... Wow. The way it ended right there. <laughs> Before we'd left, I told my mom I was spending the night at a friend's house. And when I got back, I didn't see any reason to change that story. And you know what? I still don't. The island did one good thing, forcing Ren and Nona together. Which is nice, because they're still together, actually. Though they go to different schools now. Trying out the long distance thing, I guess. You and 63% of pairs, players brought Ren and Nona together. <clears throat> Clarissa left to study English literature. She was thinking of dropping out, but is keeping at it for now. We talk sometimes. 
rarely, but sometimes. I hear she's scared of the ocean now. And she got a dog too, if you care. You and 49% of players made up with her. Huh. Jonas was the first to introduce me as his sister. You know, without the step part in front of it. And it was weird at first, but it's the truth. He's my brother. He goes to school in town, and we see each other a lot. You have 58% of players bonded with your new stepbrother, Jonas. I really liked him. It's he funny. was very likable. What happened on the island used to pop into my head every single day. And then every other day. And then a week went by, and I realized I hadn't thought about it at all. I guess that's... I don't know. It's good, I think. But anyways, I, um... Well, if it matters. I decided yeah. to stay in town and go to college here. It's practically up the road, and I just wanted something familiar, I guess. But anyways, what time is it? <gasps> yeah, sorry, I gotta run or I'll miss the ferry. Ren's dragging me out to Edwards Island for that yearly beach party thing, and I have to pick up what's That's his a name good question. Jonas, too. <laughs> <sighs> I hope he's not Who took weird the photo? or mean or something. Whatever. What I'm is sure going on fun. now? It's something to do, right? What? All right. That game was awesome. <laughs> I absolutely loved this game. Uh serious contender for my my game of the year that I've been told that if you play through again um, you can get different endings and stuff I really feel like I got the best ending there everybody came out alive I could be wrong but holy shit this game was awesome I'm gonna let it run through the credits I want to see if something comes up at the end And I won't do it right away, but I do plan to eventually do another playthrough of this game in hopes of finding another ending. Try being a dick next time. Yeah, we could definitely do that. <laughs> Mixed feelings about radios.
Anything else come up from the end here? Hit start, continue timeline. What? It used to be a military base. Well, it used to be a ranching thing, then it was turned into an army thing, then it, it didn't say continue timeline before. Henry Fonda stationed here, I think, for a bit. Unless he was Navy. Who's Henry Fonda? Around Christmas time, this little breakfast place used to sell these amazing polar bear sugar cookies. Man, those were good. And then one year they changed the formula or whatever and ruined it. And then it just has you starting Alex. over. Hey, still with us? You haven't said anything for like ten minutes. Yeah, this, this is so is, familiar. Sorry, but this is so familiar. Like, I don't know, I feel like you've said all this before. Well, yeah, I'm sure I've said it to you before, but it's new to Jonas, and he's downright enraptured. Right? Huh? Right. So oh, this playthrough um, could be really not, weird. Not really. I just got in this morning. And how did her mom meet your dad exactly? <laughs> they met on vacation in Orlando. He got lost in a... You know, actually, I'm not even going to tell this story. It's really not worth it. <laughs> okay. Uh, yes, please don't. Let's not relive their meet cute any more than we have to. And you guys just met tonight? Yeah, I was, um... I'd been out of school, and the timing had just never worked out, so... And what does that make you to her, then? Hey, uh, second cousin? Seriously? Didn't we talk about this already? He's my stepbrother, it's not oh, a... Oh, yeah. I forgot that was even a thing. Well, at least you seem cool, right? Cool guy, cool hat. You get a cool new sibling living right in your house. Sharing your toothbrush. Wearing your clothes. Yeah, sure, whatever. I have someone to reach the food on the top shelf now. Just happy to be on the team. So, how do you two know each other? Oh, from way back when, like Paleozoic. Grade school era. Young enough that I've seen her in a bathtub and it wasn't sexual at all. I mean, we both looked like little skinned potato blobs. <laughs> it's so creepy now to think about. Okay, so... Oh, you can even look back at photos. Why is it I only have the one photo? That's weird. Okay. None of the letters because I haven't found them yet. Okay, so this is going off this playthrough. Alright, so that's oxen free. Um, I think I'm going to save this for another day when I go through and do the playthrough. Um, about 10 o'clock now, almost. That's probably about as good a time as any to stop. So, uh... It's for tomorrow's night stream, I will be starting a playthrough of The Final Station. It's another little indie game. Uh, let's see, I think it's by developers, I think they're called Do My Best. Uh, essentially, you are traveling like train to train. It's a survival game. I believe there's a little bit of crafting elements. It's a pixel side-scrolling game with um, some shooting. You're dealing with these like weird ghost like figures of the only reason I say they're ghost like is because that's what they like the best description of them I don't believe they are actual ghosts but uh, yeah it's looks to be a pretty fun game it's about another four and a half five hour game so it'll take hopefully Wednesday and Thursday night to go through it and then we'll have the weekend and start restart the stream at the first of the year Holy shit, 2016 is almost up. Um, yeah. Let's see. So, I think it's probably a good point. So, thank you everybody for coming out. Thank you for watching. This absolutely was an amazing game. And if you're into any kind of creepy games or anything, I highly recommend it. It definitely, definitely made me happy to play. I'm really glad I got this and went through it. Great game. So... Yeah, tomorrow the final station starting at about 8 p.m. Pacific, maybe earlier, but definitely shoot around that 8 o'clock time. So thank you, everybody. Have a great night, and I will see you tomorrow.